What's going on guys, Dragscope Designs here, and we got a brand new tutorial for you guys. And what I'm going to be doing today is showing you guys how to make uh, pretty cool text um, layers and stuff like that. Maybe if you want to make like a background or something. Now all these kinds of layers or styles that I use, there you go, styles that I use for these texts, you'll probably see in some of my backgrounds. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a like layered kind of text style and then how to make an engraved text style. So we're going to start out with the engraved text. So let's go ahead and just delete this and remake a new one. All right, so let's go to MoGraph, add in a Mo text. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, center this to the middle. Change this to, let's say, drag. Okay. Make this a capital. I already know what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and go all the way down to change the font to what I was using earlier. Berman Vibes. Okay. Now, because I already know there's going to be an overlapping, so just because, just for this text, I'm going to... Uh, Oops. Increase the horizontal spacing. That should be good. Um, if you guys could please hit that subscribe button, uh, like this video, comment below if you guys have any questions. Uh, sorry about not uploading that many Photoshop tutorials. Um, if you guys want to see any Photoshop tutorials, just comment below so I know what you guys want to see. Because uh, I really have no idea what to post for, for Photoshop. So um, now that we have this text, we're going to go ahead and go to our caps. We're going to go to our start cap, fill it cap, and set the radius to 2. Start end cap, fill it cap, and then change the radius to 2. And we're going to go over here to the fill it type, and we're going to change it to engraved. Simple as that. That's how you make an engraved text. Let's go ahead and render this out. Okay, so as you can see, there's still a little bit more. You have to watch the um, overlapping with text because you're going to get a little bit of that. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, space it out a little more. I'll be to six. I might be good. Oops, eight. All right, let's go ahead and render that out. If you guys aren't already, you guys can go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You guys can get the uh, link in the description below. Follow me for updates uh, when my latest videos are going to come out, what they're going to be about. You always can check up on that. So uh, that looks great. Um, so basically, that's the engraved text. You can go ahead and add colors in there. What I usually do is I'll use I'll add a um, a black. Then I'll add a red, and then another red. Just add in set selection to R two. Selection to R one. You need this nice looking color here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go to my Mo text. I'm going to add some thoracity to it. This is what I usually do for my backgrounds. Set that to pieces to 25. Go ahead and let that render out. Sorry, uh, I'm texting someone. <laughs> All right, so this is almost done. All right, so now that that's finished, what well, you don't want to do now is go ahead and exit out of that. Just uh, check all of these. Go ahead and go into your MoGraph vector, add a random in there. Set it to about, I uh, usually set it to about four. Go ahead and render that out and see how it looks. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and enter, open up like that. Uh, because of my materials, I have a few. Um, sorry, I have um, I have reflections on my materials, so you can get these weird looking colors. Uh, it's just the reflection, so don't worry about it. You should probably have different ref uh, materials in me, anyways, unless you have my uh, material packs, which you guys can find in uh, one of my videos. 
All right, guys. So this is usually how I do most of my text, cracked and uh, engraved. It looks really nice with um, different styles of backgrounds. Uh, you guys can see me. I used one in my latest speed art uh, for Obey Nightmare. I used the engraved and Therousey text on that. All right, so let's go ahead and close this out. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Lightroom again. Um, there we go. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, close all these out. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to use the uh, the layered kind of the layered kind of um, text. So let's go ahead and open up a MoGraph. Mo text. Change this to. Um, I actually got this style from the Phase Clan. I saw this on one of their backgrounds and I really liked it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. So I'll just enter Phase. Okay, let's go ahead and um, set this to their font. Batman forever. And just to the middle. Bring it on up a little bit. And let's go ahead and change the depth to about... I'm going to say around two, three hundred. Let's see. 300. Perfect. All right. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set this to a normal kind of layer. So what we're going to do is go ahead and hit Control-C and then Control-V to make another layer. I'm going to change this to about 20%. I like 20 probably depth. Not fair. No, let's go about 35. Looks good. All right, so now we're at 35 depth. You're going to want to go to your caps, go to affiliate cap on the start, and set this to about 3. Drag it back. Then you have this nice looking effect here. We're going to go ahead and copy this. So okay, control C and then control V again. Just drag it on back. Let's see here. We get a better angle here. If you guys can't visualize the actual lengthing between each other, what I usually do is just add a black to the back color, and there you go. Get this there. Click Control C again, and just keep going on and on to the back. Drag it back up more. Did 58 on that one. Let's go back 58. All right, perfect. All right, so now you have this nice looking uh, layered text. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and just add in the real colors. <laughs> so it phases is red and white. So I'm gonna add red there, white here, right here, white here. Here, here, and here. Sorry guys, my voice sounds kind of dead. It's really early. And it's kind of really like it's really cold in here. <laughs> uh, I think I'm also sick too. So sorry about that. So uh, let's go ahead and render this out. Okay. So let's go ahead and finish this, let it go. Don't forget to guys, don't forget, <laughs> I said that funny. Um, don't forget guys, follow me on Twitter for my latest updates, you know. Anything you guys want to know, you guys can tweet me about it, I'll answer you guys. Okay, so my Lightroom is looking a little dark. Let's actually uh, move this forward. There we go. Let's try to render that out now. Sorry. <laughs> I noticed that about halfway through my render, it looked a little um, dark. So, yeah, guys, follow me on Twitter. My link is in the description below. You guys can tweet me if you guys have any um, graphics questions you guys can ask me. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I am going to start trying to do tutorials every Saturday and then speed arts every Sunday. So, you guys can check up on that. 
and my Lightroom looks dark again. <laughs> Let's just delete this. And what I'm going to do to fix my Lightroom is I'm just going to go to my presets real quick and then add an overhead. Light. Dark. Light. I'm just going to um, turn this on back. Move this a lot forward. There we go. I'm just going to add another one too. Okay, Control CV. So it's brighter. And let's go ahead and zoom in. Move this back down a little bit. There we go. Wait, I'm going to add another light right here. And then to the back. Right there. All right, perfect. So let's try to render that out now, now that we have more brightness in there. Um, the brighter you get with um, lighter colors, the better it looks. So if you guys are going to use like a white, make sure it's a bright white. If you guys are going to use a light gray, make sure it's like a nice solid gray. Don't use too many dark colors. If you guys are using like a dark color like I used in the uh, the, the Obey Nightmare background, uh, make sure you guys, you know, make sure the whole thing is in sync. So I'm just going to let this render out. So yeah, like I was saying, follow me on Twitter. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, like I said, I was trying, I'm trying to upload tutorials every Saturday, speed arts every Sunday. So uh, we have, see, as you guys can see here now, you guys are getting that nice layered effect. So yeah, guys, basically that's all you guys really need to learn. Uh, if you guys have any Photoshop questions, uh, comment below. Follow me on Twitter. You guys can tweet me any questions you guys have. Uh, if you guys want to see another tutorial, you know, if you guys want to see something in a video, comment below and I'll try to get to it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and probably share it too. That would help a lot. Thanks, guys.